Okay, so we're very thrilled to have uh, with us Adelaide's very own uh, Andy Thomas, a NASA astronaut, four-time flyer. And uh, Andy, welcome. We're thrilled to have Thank you. Thank you. Good thanks to be here for, again. Thanks for coming back again. Uh, I wanted to ask you a little bit about your thoughts uh, about Mars. Where, where are we going? How can we get there? Uh, what is the best path that we can take to try to get ourselves over there? Well, conventional wisdom says Mars is very hard to do. You need huge, huge rockets, and it's going to cost hundreds of billions of dollars. We've been looking at it a lot more closely over the last year or so, and we've pretty much shown that none of those need be the case. None of that is true. You can do Mars with reasonably sized systems. You do need a fairly heavy launch system, um, but we have most of the technologies we need to do Mars now. We don't need nuclear propulsion, for example. You can do it with chemical propulsion. In fact, you probably want to. Um, we do need a couple of things. We need a good life support system that will keep a crew alive for many, many months with low maintenance. And we need to solve what's called the entry, descent and landing problem, which is penetrating the Martian atmosphere prior to landing. Those are the two big uh, technology challenges, but they're not insurmountable. We believe it could be done. And I believe a well-engineered human to Mars program could see humans on Mars certainly in the 2030s, if not before, the late 2020s. Um, and I think it could be done for less than the cost of the space station. I don't think it has to run to hundreds of billions of dollars. It will be multiple billions of dollars, but it does not need to run as high as hundreds of billions of dollars. Could you mention some of the uh, benefits, but also complexities that would come from a true international cooperation and mission to Mars? Well, the benefits are is that it, it makes it a mission for humankind. It's a mission for humanity, which is, if you think about Mars, is what it really should be. It is for the species that we would do it, not for any one country. The downside to cooperation is that it, it's very difficult. Collaboration in large complex engineering systems is challenging because different countries have different technical standards, for example, different voltages, different thread sizes on screw fittings, simple things like that. And so there's a lot of challenges in developing an integrated system through collaboration. But the space station has proven that it can be done. Um, it's, it, it's just a challenge you have to step up to if you're really going to make it an international venture.